Welcome back to the 25 days of puppy Christmas card ideas where we're helping you decide what you're gonna do for your Christmas card with your dog this year. 24 ideas, meaning a social media advent calendar leading up to the big reveal of your card. And this one is all about making it incredibly easy for you with a wreath overlay. The 25 days of puppy Christmas card series can be done with one or many dogs created with a traditional camera or your phone done in your house or outside and range from elegant and refined to fun and quirky so there's a fit for everyone. And don't forget, these photo shoot ideas also make for great social media advent calendars even if they aren't all going to be used on your Christmas cards. If you're using a traditional camera, I recommend you set up a remote shutter release through a clicker or an app on your phone so you can take photos from where you're posed. If you're using your phone, I recommend you set it to cinematic video and take screenshots of the best frames after since pups tend to move around a lot and you don't want to stress over missing the shot. Each of these episodes is designed for a specific card template that will link in the caption, but you can use this on whatever template works best for you. You can go all out on this one or you can keep it super simple. We are not making this over complicated because it focuses on a wreath overlay. Now, the beauty of this is that it's going to look like you shot through a wreath to get your image. So we are specifically going to take just a cute picture of you and your dog. It can be literally anywhere against a blank wall, in your living room on your couch. You can be outside. You can be in front of a, another, well, I wouldn't recommend a Christmas tree, but you can be in front of other holiday decor and they're just going to shoot through that wreath. Now you can do this in real life. You truly can hold up a wreath to your camera lens and shoot through it. Or you can just use the overlay. Keep it really simple. You don't have to do the work of this. Now, the key here is that as you're shooting through this, anything you shoot through is going to be blurry because you're focused on the subject. So anything that's between you and that lens, if it's closer to the lens, look at my, how my hand is right now. See how blurry that is? That is because it's out of focus. It's closer to the camera lens. The focus is on me. Anything on my plane is going to be in focus. Anything close up will not be in focus. Anything far, far away, see that? Not in focus. So you are going to do the same effect for this. So if you're holding it up to the wreath, your wreath will be blurry. That is the point. You need to be in focus. For your overlay, the wreath will be blurry. That is the point. And you then will be in focus for this. So create your image. It can be whatever you want. I, again, don't recommend doing it in front of the tree because the, the wreath is very Christmas tree-y. And that's going to blend in. You don't want that. That's going to look a little weird. But literally anything else. The blank wall, the couch, being outside, doing events if you are are um, like outside my local park has a Santa sleigh that you can sit in. There's so many things that you can be doing. All of those things work for you. And then you're just going to use the overlay or shoot it through an actual wreath. Drop your photo into Photoshop or whichever photo editing platform you are using. And you're going to put your image behind your overlay. Now, if you just have an image where you shot it through a wreath, you're already good to go. We do need to focus on our local retouching, but I like to do that after I've added the overlay, because if you turn this off, that's a whole lot of image I don't now have to edit. So I am going to be looking at my picture. This picture is actually one we took at the beach, the hotel we stayed at. You could see that the words beach were up on the top right there. And I've got some hats on the wall. So there's a couple things I can do. If I'm on this layer with me and my puppy, I can select my subject. And that is going to lasso me and my dog. You can kind of see how it actually picked up some of the hat. So I'm removing that by holding my option button down on my Mac. And that's just going to remove some of the things that I don't need. It doesn't matter what's behind the wreath. Now I'm going to duplicate that layer and I am going to then put a layer mask on it. I can, even if I want to make sure it's non-destructive, I can duplicate that layer again. I'm going to go up to filter down to Gaussian blur, and then I'm going to change my background however I need to to make it look a little more realistic so you can kind of see how my focal point is changing based on how I am making that blurry behind. So I kind of want to match the blurriness of the wreath over it and that makes it a little more realistic. So now I'm going to be on my top layer for me and my dog. Because we were at the beach, we were out running in the sand and she has sand all over her face. So I'm just going to come in on my spot heel tool. I'm just going to get some of that sand, some a little bit of that slobber off of my pup. As I retouch that, I could remove her collar if I wanted. I could even remove her harness if I wanted. I don't have to leave that there. I can just take care of that. And if it does that, you know, you can do a couple of different things. You can either remove it a bit at a time so that it's not moving quite so much at once. And then we just kind of pull away with this. And if you don't like to do this on a destructive layer, you can, of course, duplicate that layer as well. You can kind of see how I'm just 
removing that there. And you can be more specific about it if you want. I kind of like her collar there, so I'm going to leave that there. And then I'm just going to make sure that her eyes are nice and sharp. So I'm going to use my sharpening tool. I'm just going to go over her eyes a little bit, her nose just a tiny bit. Might need to go over my eyes. I'm going to grab my clone tool on 28% opacity because I've got some shadows under my eyes there because this was not a professionally lit image. This was a uh, big picture window to the side. And so <laughs> we just grabbed this cute little picture for ourselves, but I kind of like it for this as well. So I can just lighten those shadows. I see a little bit more on my puppy space. I'm just going to tweak that a little bit. And now we have our final image. And of course, if you need to, you can go into a brightness and contrast panel. You can mess with that however you need to as well. But this is going to give you your really nice image. And then if you need to, you can add your overlay in one of the corners wherever it makes the most sense for your message. Now, this is a single image card. This is not meant to be a multi image unless you're holding the wreath and then it's not going to have the same effect. You can do that by all means. Go for it. If that gave you an idea, run with it. But to do this one, single image and then you can either put an overlay on top of the wreath part of this so merry christmas all of the the nostalgic classic-y things we've leaned a lot into the classics with this series and you can really lean into a lot of those or you can leave it blank and write your message on the back whatever works best for you i kind of like sometimes having those very simplistic cards and so i'm going with just the wreath overlay in mind but you can do a lot with this to get your message out to your friends and your family as well and if this wasn't your christmas card this is just one of the social media posts you're going to be doing there are 24 other ideas on the social platform so you can check out our youtube channel and our other social medias where we're giving you lots of ideas on things you can do for your social media advent calendar leading up to the big reveal of your christmas card we've got lots of other episodes for you and daily videos helping you navigate the world of being a dog parent we'll see you in the upcoming episodes